How's it going everyone? Mr. Ackbeek here and I'm super excited for this workout this Saturday. Just like my past few Saturdays, these videos are meant to be done more than once. So it's not just a one-time workout, but do it two times a day, three times a day, do it multiple times a week. Build that endurance up. For today's workout, you see I have a couple of pieces of equipment in front of me. I have two chairs and it might be hard to see on the video, but I've tied a string across the chairs just like this. We're gonna be moving over and underneath this string, so set it to a height that works for you. We're gonna be jumping over it, we're gonna be rolling underneath it. But remember, you can always pause the video and adjust where the string is depending on the drill and where you feel comfortable. Last thing we wanna make sure is that our chairs are far enough apart that you can lay your whole body length down and roll underneath without hitting either chip. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a warm up. The warm up's gonna be nice and easy. You're gonna stand sideways. It doesn't matter which way you face. You're gonna take whichever leg's closest to the string. You're gonna step it over, other leg follows. Then the new leg, over, other leg follows. Each time we go over, we're gonna count to one. Just getting those legs nice and warmed up, we're gonna count to 10. Let's try it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Our next drill, we're going to be counting to five. We're going to be tuck jumping over and back. Remember on my tuck jump, I want to take off of two feet. So I'm not lifting one leg first, I'm jumping off of both feet just like this. So I'm going to take both feet, jump over, and then I'm going to jump back. And we're going to count five times. Every time you go over, that's going to be one. So let's try this out. Starting either side, doesn't matter which way you're facing, counting to five. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Then reset. All right, we're going to do another set of five here. So this time, you're going to jump over the string. After you get over, you're going to drop down into your push-up position. You're going to do a push-up, then come back up. Then we're going to jump over. Push-up, back up. So same drill, we're just adding a push-up in between. And we're going to count each push-up up to five. And just like my other videos, the push-up is in a race. So get a good, full push-up in between each jump. Let's try it, counting to five. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice, just like that. All right, last one. This one's gonna be done on both sides. So for this one, I'm gonna jump over my string. After I jump over, I'm bringing my chest to the ground, then I'm log rolling back underneath, then hopping back to my feet. So we'll count each time we log roll as one, and we're counting to five. This one's gonna be a little bit tough. Take a deep breath. And again, if I'm going too fast for you on these videos, you can always watch the video, pause it, do it at your own pace, and then come back for the next side. Let's try it out, counting to five. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So now to switch, you can switch your direction or you can face the same way and just come to the other side. If you're dizzy, Give yourself a second, get a little bit undizzy, catch your breath a little bit. Coming to five on this side. So I'm gonna jump over, roll back underneath. Last one, push through it. Remember to keep breathing. Let's try it out. Get those feet set, and go. One. Two. Three. Four, last one. Five. 
awesome work today, guys. Remember, practice swim song, this one a lot. Do it multiple times a week. Build that endurance. Good work.